In this video, we'll show you a new and unique way of making dovetails and finger joints using the Router Boss, a versatile, safe, and accurate wood milling machine. Forget hardware templates with metal fingers and guide bushings that often require you to use certain bits and spacing or to cut your wood in incremental dimensions while being deficient in safety features, dust collection, and joint design options. With Router Boss, you can design your joint layout using a web-based application on your computer or any smartphone or tablet without the limitations of bits, spacing, or wood dimensions. You can print your joint layout on label stock, cut and paste it on one of the Router Boss storyboards, then exactly position each of your cuts by aligning a cursor on each cut line on the printed layout. Note that above each cut line is a digital reading, which you can use to verify that your cut is spot on every time. A finger joint consists of a number of interlocking space tenons or fingers on the ends of two adjoining boards. A standard finger joint consists of middle fingers that are all the same width as the diameter of the straight router bit, and a set of end fingers that vary in width to complete the board width. The web-based design tool for creating finger joint templates is available on the chipsfly.com website. Once you've accessed the online template, first enter the size of the board width. This is done in a decimal equivalent. You can also determine whether to use inches or the metric system in entering this information. Next, select the straight bit width from the pull-down menu. The leniency setting adjusts the tightness of fit and compensates for any router runout. Next, you can optionally determine a first finger indent. Would you like a first indent? Yes. And again, what is that decimal equivalent for that first finger indent? Next, you need to determine the minimum width for the end fingers. This again is on a pull-down menu. Other advanced options give you the choice of choosing symmetrical, center-weighted, or asymmetrical layouts. You can also determine the number of fingers to be used across the width of the board. The default without the advanced option is maximum number of fingers. With these things determined, you can press Compute. The information is shown. You have a chance to verify, and then you print for ruler template. The template and template information are then printed out on an adhesive back sheet on your computer's printer. The template itself is then cut apart and then placed on the router boss machine. When cutting finger joints on the router boss, all cuts are made with a straight router bit. To begin, board A is placed against the carrier fence and then locked into place. The Router Boss Finger Joint template provides both a cursor line and a digital readout for each cut location. However, there are separate cut locations marked in blue and red for the A board and B board. With a built-in laser crosshair on the edge of the board, the cursor is moved to the zero point on the template, and the digital also is zeroed. One other important setting is the depth of cut. This is done using the turret stop on the router itself. A playing card is added to the mating board so the joint will stand proud and be sanded or planed to flush. The first cut is then made. Next the carrier board is moved using the handle to the next position on the template. The position is confirmed using the digital readout. The second cut is made and so on throughout board A. Board B is inserted and the process is repeated using the red markings on the template guide this time. Precise clean cuts are important in joinery. For the safest operation in router joinery, the wood should be fed past the bit opposite the direction of rotation. Due to some grain orientation, this can cause tear out. To avoid this, cutting with the direction of rotation or climb cutting can be beneficial and is safe on the router boss with the wood clamped. Cut the left side of the pins by pushing the router away from you, from right to left. Climb cutting when creating the right face of pins for dovetail joints will result in a better surface finish on the side of the pin. For finger joints, use climb cutting with a pull stroke on the right side of the finger for a better surface finish. Cut the left side of the fingers by pushing the router away from you. Climb cutting is also useful when cutting tenons. Cut the right side of the tenon by pulling the router towards you. With the router locked down, crank the work to the right to cut the near face of the tenon. Cut the left side by pushing the router away from you. 
Then cut the far face by cranking the work back to the left. A dovetail joint consists of a socket or tailboard and a pin board that interlock when put together. A dovetail joint normally consists of a half pin at each end and one or more middle pins, but the router boss design tool allows you to also choose to not have the half pins. Using the web-based design tool for dovetails is similar to the process in setting up finger joints. First, you choose whether it's inches or metric. Enter the board width, again using decimals. For the tail board, choose the width of your dovetail bit and then the dovetail bit angle. For the pin board, choose the width of the straight bit. Next, choose the pin spacing, even, golden ratio, or choose a custom spacing ratio between the adjoining pins. All choices will result in a symmetrical joint. Choose if you want end pins, then the width of the end pins from the drop-down menu. Choose the number of pins across the width of the board, then hit Compute. Check your computations, and finally, press Ruler Template to print out the template itself. When cutting a dovetail using the router boss, the router is guided through the wood at each location by our variable angle guides. The socket board is cut first using a dovetail bit with the guide set to 0 degrees. The pin board is cut next using a straight bit with the guide set so the pins match the angle and width of the dovetail socket. The angle is set using the green wings of our variable guides. Once again, the bit is zero to the edge of the board. Then both the template and digital readout are zeroed as well. Again, the playing card and mating board are used to set the depth of cut. By turning the crank, the cursor is moved to each location on the printed template with the location verified on the digital readout. The dovetail boards and mating pin boards are then cut. Both pins and tails use the same cut locations. You should make test cuts and adjustment cuts before cutting the pin pieces. For more information on the online design tools for making finger joints and dovetails with the router boss, and for the many other operations possible with the router boss, visit our website at chipsfly.com.